Look, I think I think all the praise goes to Anita. Yeah. Um, I just I don't really need to say anything else because I think everybody's praised it so much and all her beautiful writing. But um, what Adam said is so true: is that going to India is such a sensory experience. Everything just hits you in the face, be it the sights, the smells, the sounds, everything. And if I could describe this writing, it's very earthy. It's very textured. Uh, you can feel that. Um, Indian Ocean on your skin, uh, that sand under your feet. You can see those thousands of turtles laying their eggs, you know, bringing another generation to this world uh, and ultimately letting go. You can feel all that. You can feel that big house. Um, and I think that's because the narrator is done so cleverly in this book. The narrator in this book really moves us in and out of these very complex perspectives, and that's really the beauty of it, whereas the writing is simple, but yet it's not simplistic. Mm. Uh, and I think that's really the beauty of this book. Uh, having said that, really quickly, I'll just say I loved the Cree poetry of Birdie. I really did. And what I loved about it is that um, I actually went back a few times to read it, to fully understand it. And I may not fully understand it yet, but uh, I think that's uh, what books do, is they, is they are meant to challenge us. So I think that Cree poetry is really beautiful.